Good morning everyone, Jim Clark here at the Synchronicity Sanctuary in Central Virginia to share another contemplative focus with you today. And that focus today simply is understanding the fundamental energy field that governs human experience is essential if you want to live your life to the fullest. We, as human beings, live in a relative reality, which means by its very nature, our experience is polarized. And from this polarization, we perceive ourselves as subjects separate from all the objects in our world. So this is a, a contemplation about how our experience as human beings, how we perceive ourselves and how we perceive the world around us and how we experience life as a result of this perception as one of separation. We have um, the experience of being separate and the experience of an external world that we have to somehow survive in. So this polarization, this relative reality simply is the mechanics of how it works. It's not a good thing or a bad thing, but if you don't understand that that's what you're dealing with when you want to elevate your awareness and your consciousness, then you don't understand the rules of the game, kind of, that's what I'm sort of pointing to here. And so the meditative lifestyle and holistic lifestyle that supports the results of meditation are all in place to help reduce the degree of polarization that you experience, hmm? to reach balance, so that you're not living in the extremes of this perception, and that's what it is. It's not a ultimate reality by any means. It's a reality in your experience because if you're very polarized, if you're very extreme in your negative and positive experiences, mental, emotional, whatever, then that's how you see the, and experience the world, right? And that separation and that uh, feeling of isolation just magnifies. And if you, when you meditate, when you go inside, when you close your eyes and you shut off the external world, which you are normally totally engrossed in, then you're automatically putting a focus on the positive polarity, which is the non-dominant polarity by default. It means that, that the negative polarity, which is the polarity of manifestation, is highly exaggerated unless you do something to bring that into balance. Hmm? So that your experience as a separate human being, as being flesh and blood and not having any, any awareness about the depth of your own being, uh, is a result of that condition. And that's a condition that results from the polarized field of relative reality, which is what we have as human beings by default. Hmm? So we all begin that way and we all grow into the enculturation process and the resulting identifications we have about ourselves and about our world. And then we, we have sort of like an unconscious definition of who we are and what life is and we try to make the, do the best we can with that, which of course is not very fulfilling uh, at all and it's full of conflict by its nature because it's polarized. And when we try to find something better, when we want to get into a, a life that has more peacefulness in it and more joy in it and more love in it, uh, if you don't understand that it's not you, it's, it's just the nature of the reality that you're experiencing. Hmm? So if you don't understand that, if you don't, and then apply the techniques of balance, which is meditation and the lifestyle that supports meditation. It maximizes the positive aspects of your thinking, your feeling, and your physical being. 
And that's, uh, if you don't understand that, and then apply yourself to that, then you're going to get what you get. You're going to get what's automatic, what happens without doing anything. And that's pretty much a, a life of suffering. Hmm? We, <clears throat> we tend to have a, a focus on judging ourselves, and then we take those judgments and our negative feelings and we impose that on our external perception on the people in our world, on the situations in our world, and and it just keeps going and going and going. As you have probably known in your life, the world just always has some kind of conflict going on and you have a conflict going on in you about yourself and about your world. And there's all a manner of uh, attempts to help to address this situation in, in the extremes. You know, there's psychotherapy, there's all kinds of things, there's yoga and whatnot that people try and it helps. But if you really want to get to the root of what causes human suffering in the first place, you have to make the unconscious conscious. And to make the unconscious conscious, you have to bring balance into your experience. And, and by doing that means you need to emphasize the positive polarity, the subjective polarity. And the, and the positive polarity in the mental dimension of our experience is positive thinking and the positive and positive feeling and a, and a positive physical experience and one where one where your body is not uh, in hyper mode all the time it's not being overly stimulated it can rest it can just do its thing in a very peaceful and gentle way and and that helps to support the peace and the balance in the mental and emotional dimensions as well. So you're really building up from the base, from the most dense part of our experience, which is the, the human physical body, into the less dense, uh, more subtle feelings and thoughts that we experience in relation to our body, or with our body. So, so as you meditate and go through these uh, steps to bring balance into your life, you will have uh, phenomenal experiences, probably visions, and you might hear music, people, it depends on the person, what they're, what they're more prone to perceive at a more subtle level. And you also have expansion and awareness, you'll be blissful, and then you'll come back out of meditation, you'll be back in the world of activity and an external focus, and in the beginning stages of meditation, this is a difficult period of time for people because you've had this enormous boost in your life. Huh? You had a huge experience of love and an experience of being blissful, not just happy, but being blissful. And then you get back into the world of activity and all of a sudden your default database of how you perceive and define your world in yourself comes back into play and you'll find yourself judging someone or reacting to something uh, which just further brings you down. Contra it's contractive. And then you, of course, you have the memory of your meditation experience and so you want to get back to that. You want to keep on having that experience, which is normal. Huh? Everybody wants to be happy and if you can be blissful, even more than happy, you definitely want to keep that. This is our very nature, is to be blissful. And living as human beings, <clears throat> we get, get used to not being happy and blissful, but then there's a part of us that always wants that. So we seek it out in some way or another. And if you meditate and bring balance to your, your experience, uh, the meditative experience begins to expand and expand and grow and grow and the positive polarity becomes more and more dominant in your experience as a human being. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and that grows to a point eventually where it's constant. Your meditation doesn't happen for 20 minutes or an hour a day, it's happening 24-7. And when that happens, when you get to, when you bring yourself to that level of, of, uh, of, 
what we call spiritual evolution, then you're constantly meditating, you're constantly having a positive experience, dominating the negative experience. Negative experience never goes away totally, it can't, because if it did, you wouldn't be able to maintain your existence as a human being. It's a relative reality and you have to have both polarities in order to be a human being or anything in this world. So it's not a question of what's right or wrong or good or bad. That's the default negative polarity where we we see things that way. But in truth, one cannot exist without the other. So the point, judgment is pointless because it's trying to get rid of something that's essential to your very existence, uh, which if you were successful at, you would take yourself out, so to speak, as a human being. You would dissolve your manifestation. So, as you meditate and develop balance and put a focus on anything that's supportive of that experience to, to keep developing a more dominant physic or positive experience in your life, eventually you reach a point where where you are constantly in that experience. And after many, many years here at Synchronicity Sanctuary, where I've been practicing meditation and a holistic lifestyle for over 30 years now, I have reached this point where I do meditate, I still meditate, I keep my practice going because that's what supports more and more growth. It's not like there's a goal, like you reach an end and then that's it. The more you do your practice, the more you get from your practice. So I still meditate every day, I still get higher and higher, my positive polarity gets more and more dominant. and. Um, it's, it, it's an experience that that once you get there, you never want to go back because you're, you're too blissful and too happy and too loving of yourself and of your world to ever want to go back to a more contracted, a limited state of existence where you're in conflict and judgment, you're constantly in judgments and all this kind of stuff. So, it doesn't serve any good purpose to not meditate once you do meditate. But for most of the world, they're not ready to meditate. The, po the negative polarity is still very dominant in their experience. They don't have the awareness and for whatever reasons in their, in their journey, they're working themselves toward the time when they will be able to wake up to that and start to meditate and start to to grow their their spirituality, which is really another way of saying they'll be able to see what is real beyond the illusion of separation. And uh, this is what we all do, and we all have gone through many, many lifetimes to develop our awareness and to, and to be fulfilled in the experience of separation. So we, which is another way of saying, I think we, we develop our capacity to take the courage to challenge that perception and experience of life. And once we do, that's when usually some kind of a teacher will show up in your life and, and uh, it could be a human being, it could just be a, a experience where suddenly you wake up and, and you get the experience of yourself beyond human and then that motivates you to keep going and then you open up to meditation and you open up to holistic lifestyle and you open up to the possibility that there is much more to you than you ever knew before and it was so much more that you, your thinking mind could never even comprehend it, much less tell you anything about it. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. That we live in a relative reality and when you understand how that works and when you understand that meditation is simply a balancing technique, it's not religious, it's not something from some God outside yourself, it's a technique, it's a tool and it works. And it's so simple that it's, it's, it's difficult to understand 
how that works until you apply yourself to it, until you start meditating. And the reason I am here at Synchronicity Sanctuary is because when I was meditating in the very beginning years back in the 70s, I tried many different forms of meditation, all of them, none of them had the technology that Synchronicity employed in their uh, soundtracks for meditation. And once I did, I had such a beautiful meditative experience consistently with their soundtracks that I never went back. So here I am sharing what I know and what I've experienced, and I hope this has been of some help or positive influence in your life. And with that, I will bid you adieu until next Monday morning when I come back with another contemplative focus to share with you. Thank you.